So hi, everyone, and uh, welcome to this particular video on the ramsey kass koopmans growth model. In particular, today, we're going to continue with our uh, example in, uh, in the ramsey kass koopmans model. And in this video, we're going to set up a recursive competitive equilibrium. So recall, okay, defining a recursive competitive equilibrium, okay, uh, what you need to first do is um, uh, basically all prices, okay, all prices are functions of the aggregate state, aggregate state, state, so that's X. And in our model, the aggregate state was uh, K, capital K. Uh, all others are functions of both the aggregate state, state and the uh, individual state, state, okay? And uh, step two, we have in the recursive competitive equilibrium sort of standard conditions. Okay, these conditions, these conditions are as follows. The first one is that uh, the consumer's problem. Okay, we need to solve the consumer's problem. And the way we do that in an RCE is basically use a value function. Uh, and uh, you generate a set of decision rules. Okay, decision rules, uh, given prices, given prices. Okay. The next one is the firm's problem. Firm's problem. Okay. And basically, uh, the firm's problem is about solving the first order conditions of profit maximization. So it's that the marginal product of labor is equal to the wage rate and the marginal product of capital is equal to the rental rate. The third is that there should be consistency between uh, between aggregate and the uh, individual state okay and lastly if there exists any other uh, conditions so any other conditions any other conditions okay so we begin right by defining okay so definition okay a uh, recursive competitive equilibrium for this economy economy is a sequence of functions of the individual state, which is per capita capital, and the aggregate state, which is aggregate capital, right? Again, we drop the time subscripts when we're doing a recursive formulation. Uh, denoted as, okay, so the list of functions, K is uh, not a price, so uh, it's just a, uh, uh, but it's an aggregate variable, so it's just a function of the aggregate state. H is also not a price, aggregate state. W is a price, so it's a function of the aggregate state. R is a price, it's a function of the aggregate state. Small K is a function of both the individual and the aggregate state. Uh, small h is a function of the individual and the aggregate state, as well as tax being a function of the aggregate state. So those are the functions such that, okay, okay, so you have such that, such that, uh, number one, okay, has to deal with the consumer's problem. So given prices, given prices, w, x, and r, x, Okay, the solution, okay, the solution to the consumer's problem, problem gives the value function and the value function is a function of both the individual and the aggregate state and the set of decision rules. Okay. 
those decision rules are on capital holding tomorrow, right? As well as a labor R decision. Okay. The second, okay, is again given prices. Uh, sorry, my apologies. Uh, the solution rather, the solution, the solution to the firm's firm uh problem satisfies the FOMCs for profit maximization. So we have that uh, W, X is equal to F, L, H, K, uh, sorry, F, H, H, K rather, and the R is equal to F, K, H, K. So this is again, just the uh, M, P, L is equal to the wage rate, M, P, K is equal to the rental rate, right? Three, okay, we have that, Okay, the aggregate, the aggregate decision rules are consistent, are consistent with the individual decision rules. So that just basically means that K, X, X, is equal to k x and the h x x is equal to h x. The idea is just that if we sum up all the individual k, small k and small h, we get the aggregate. That's just it. And uh, any other condition to impose, in this case, we have taxes. So we need to impose so that the government's constraint sort of balances, right? So tx satisfies or allows the government's budget uh, uh, constraint to balance, satisfies the budget constraint. Okay, the constant government expenditure, TKRX times KX plus TX here. So in this way, The government's government budget is balanced. Okay, so that's how we define a recursive competitive equilibrium for this economy. Uh, in the next uh, video, we're going to start to solve the dynamic programming problem of the competitive uh, of this uh, sort of competitive economy. And in the video after that, we'll do the social damage problem. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.